A very good morning to everyone who has joined us for today's video. My name is Dr. Purudhaman and today our discussion will revolve around PTH which is commonly known as parathyroid hormone and its significance for individuals with kidney failure disease. Whenever patients comes to me with their PTH reports, I often find them scared by the sight of elevated levels, forcing them to seek immediate medical attention. However, Firstly, it is important to understand the nature of PTH, the reason behind the increased level and most importantly, why there is no cause for an alarm. Let us begin with exploring what exactly is parathyroid gland. So, parathyroid gland is situated near the thyroid gland. It consists of four small rice grain like structure named parathyroid. These glands are mainly responsible for producing the parathyroid hormone which has a crucial role in regulating calcium level within an individual bloodstream. As we consume various food items, it is important that the calcium present in our blood sticks to our bone. If it does not happen, it can lead to increased level of calcium in the blood and weak bones, ultimately leading to the a range of health complications. Moving further, let me tell you that the primary function of parathyroid hormone is to make sure that the calcium stick to our bones. So we can say that it is the hormone that starts the necessary process within our body to make sure that this process is completed. Now in an individual who are suffering from kidney failure, it becomes important to understand the underlying reason for the elevated PTH level. For this part, I want to everyone to pay attention. The role of our kidney extend beyond mere urine filtration and base elimination. They also contribute to activation of vitamin D. When we consume it through dietary source or milk, it initially exists in an inactive form. However, it is the kidney which possesses the ability to convert into the active form, which in turn promotes calcium sticking to our bones. Now, in a kidney failure patient, the kidney are not able to activate the inactive vitamin D, resulting in calcium not being able to stick to the pores. Due to this failure, the level of calcium in our blood increases, which leads to the increases in the level of parathyroid hormone as well. This is clear indicator that the process of calcium deposition is not making place in a proper manner. This is why it is time for me to tell you that the way to address this challenge of increased parathyroid hormone levels, the solution I tell you is relatively straightforward. We must increase the process of calcium sticking to the bones. Yes, it is that simple. This can be achieved by activating vitamin D within our body or administrating with active vitamin D supplementation while over the counter medicines and drops of vitamin D are suitable for general consumption. Individuals with a kidney failure require a specific form of known as calcitrol. It is an active variant of vitamin D, which is very well capable of making sure that the calcium sticks to our bone as well keep your PTH level regulated at all times. This is the reason why I always tell my kidney failure patient not to make any stress in terms of elevated PTH level. By simply incorporating calcitrol in your routine and ensuring that the calcium sticks to your bone, you can effectively cancel out the bone related complication and achieve a lower level of PTH. Now, before we reach the end of today's video, I want to address a common confusion between parathyroid and thyroid test, which almost all of you might have. While the parathyroid hormone contributes to the sticking of the calcium to our bones, Thyroid hormone plays an important role in regulating our body's metabolism. This is why an imbalance in the thyroid hormone levels can lead to complications like fatigue, weakness, edema, etc. So it is my advice to everyone who has joined us today that if you are a kidney failure patient, please undergo a thyroid test alongside with PTH assessment as well. This evaluation will help you and the doctor to rule out any potential thyroid related concern as well as ensure that a symptom can be accurately connected with the functionality of the kidney. With this we have reached the end of today's video. I hope that all of you got a very basic understanding of what is PTH and its relation between the kidney failure.
I request everyone to keep a check on their PTH level and to not take any unwanted stress if the level do get elevated. These issues can very well easily be treated by consuming calcium and active vitamin D in the form of calcitrol. But even after this, if you have any doubt, feel free to leave a comment in the section below and I will take it up personally. Thank you for joining us today. See you next time. Till then, take care and stay healthy.